They say you shouldn't eat more than three servings of tuna a month. People smoke every day. How bad must tuna be for you? Tilapia, there's a shady fish. I don't even know what a live tilapia looks like. It's the fourth most consumed fish in America. I couldn't pick one out of a fucking lineup. I know of no one who's ever gone fishing and came back with a tilapia. Social media breeds narcissism. And humans are already way too narcissistic. That's why they have to have a sign at the zoo telling you not to tap on the glass. Because it's not enough to just see a monkey. I would like the monkey to see me. Can it get any needier than seeking the acknowledgement of a lower primate? Monkeys aren't seeking our acknowledgement. Monkey don't give a fuck. Monkey will jerk off right in front of you. Who's the lower primate in that scenario? Got the mask on there. Are you fully vaccinated? Sir? I think we're all fully vaccinated. They don't let in the general riffraff in this <laughs> Those anti-vaxxers are such hypocrites. If you got tattooed at the mall, you could get vaccinated. <laughs> we could end this pandemic in a week if they just hide the vaccine in trans fats. I had some vaccine hesitancy ever since the booster gave my girlfriend chlamydia. <laughs> and my best friend. I mean, that can't be a coincidence. <laughs> I didn't have any vaccine hesitancy. And I'm generally leery of Big Pharma. Big Pharma will tell you to never mix drugs with alcohol, but stringent real-world testing has shown it's a pretty good time. <laughs> it's hard getting old. I support euthanasia. I think when you get to that age where you're blowing your nose loudly in restaurants, you should be put down. <laughs> or if you're using adjectives to order the food, I'll have a nice piece of salmon. <laughs> Bullet to the back of the head. <laughs> Scented garbage bags? What's the point of that? Why are we enhancing the smell of garbage? If your trash smells, take it out. <laughs> You know, trash with a hint of lilac is just as foul-smelling as regular scented trash. You're not impressing anybody. Nobody's walking past your pails. Mmm, is that raspberries and <laughs> shit? I don't trust our politicians are capable of fixing this economy. You know what we gotta do? We gotta take, like, the top 100 most successful business people in the world, sit them down in a room together, and, and fucking rob them. <laughs> I worry about my health. I'm getting old. I'm 55. I'm at that age now where two shots of espresso makes me shit and go to sleep. <laughs> I know I'm not going to live to be 100. I can tell by the strength of my urine stream I'm not going to see 75 years. I pee like a dying man. You know you're getting old and people tell you you look good. That is not a compliment. Because they don't mean you look good, they mean you look good relative to death. <laughs> Usually comes with a patronizing head tilt. You look good? <laughs> I've become a worse person since the start of this pandemic. You ever sit next to somebody on the subway and they start coughing and you hope that they have lung cancer because you don't want to get coronavirus? <laughs> you smoke? No. You get good at spotting potential trouble on the subway after a while. Here's a great tip. Never sit next to anybody who's eating. Anybody capable of eating on a New York City subway is capable of anything. I think nutrition's overrated. How do prison inmates get so big on Cheetos and toilet wine? They're not getting proper nutrition. Does the sheer will not to get in the air create protein? C has a great reputation for curing illness, doesn't it? But considering its active ingredient is water. Mm. I call bullshit on tea. And chicken soup. The Jewish lobby has been pushing chicken soup as some sort of miracle remedy for generations. I think it's part of a wider globalist conspiracy to undermine clam chowder. 
You can learn more about it by tuning into my chewing on podcast. <laughs> All right, I'm Jewish, let it go. <laughs> Nobody was healthy pre-90s. For most of the 20th century, the jumping jack was considered a viable exercise. <laughs> they were a lot harder to do back then, though, because uh, of all the asbestos. <laughs> and everybody drank milk. That was our superfood. We couldn't get enough of it. Nothing washed down a Paul Mall cigarette like a smooth glass of vitamin D milk. 